I'm Matt Bouchard with REIT.com here in Atlanta for REIT World 2014, NARIT's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me is Ettore Santucci, partner and co-chair of the REIT Group with Goodwin Proctor. Ettore, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Now, as cross-border investment continues to flow into the U.S. real estate market, do you have a sense for institutional investors' appetite for listed REITs versus private real estate investment? Well, th there is an enormous amount of flow of capital from uh, overseas. And most of it um, is what I would uh, call very technically big game hunting. Um, we just did, for example, for one of our clients, um, Boston Properties, a big joint venture with Norges Bank. And, um, you know, it's the kind of capital that doesn't come across every day. It's billions of dollars of real estate in trophy CBD assets. So you would expect that capital to flock to the major platforms and to be negotiated, um, you know, 45, 55 joint ventures. Um, so that kind of capital, I think, is, um, is likely going to continue to go direct uh, or at least uh, uh, one off. Uh, but there is a lot more capital internationally that's looking to uh, institutional real estate. I, I was in Europe two weeks ago and uh, everybody's looking for essentially institutional quality commercial real estate. Uh, they're looking for, you know, stabilized, diversified institutional assets in gateway cities or major cities. Uh, the problem is that there isn't any. And now, now, what is it about listed REITs that, that, that could attract this institutional capital? Lots of things. And I'll answer the question by comparing it. You may have heard about the kerfuffle that's going on in Europe about the um, alternative investment funds and management direct managers directive and whether REITs are property funds or not property funds and so everything that makes the non-US REIT, the European REITs um, say yeah we're property funds and basically submit themselves to the AIF regulation and we're running up and down and saying no 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 the US REITs are not that <laughs> we are internalized companies we have alignment of management we have transparency of disclosure we have focused strategies by market, by sector, by uh, developers, not developers. We sort of we bring a value proposition that's well understood. We have liquidity. We have, you know, some volatility but not excessive. We deliver total return through a combination of dividends. And that's what I would say, you know, if you're not attracted by that, then, I don't know, go buy something else. What can I tell you? Now, shifting gears a little bit, do you expect to see more real estate portfolios come public in 2015? And, and if you do, are there any specific areas where they might come from? I think that I would love to think that there is an IPO wave class of 2015. Um, the problem is that <clears throat> you will hear from most dedicated investors that the only reason why the market needs another REIT IPO is either because it's very, very cheap compared to comparables or because it's a unique story that nobody's ever heard before. So until we come up with a sort of a Martian, uh, you know, lodging uh, REIT, there's only so much real estate you can do. And so, and most of it is in the four major food groups or five major food groups. So <clears throat> I would hope that the market is receptive to IPOs that are kind of the old fashioned IPO you know, portfolios of size, but not huge, that are coherent in strategy, are managed by a good management team, look to come to market, grow, acquire, prove themselves. You know, that would be, that's kind of what we did for the first, you know, 15 years of the REIT era, modern REIT area, and it worked pretty well. Um, you know, we all know what happens to uh, gene pools that fail to diversify or evolve. Uh, they generally don't do well. And so I think we should look at the REIT industry today as a gene pool that continues to be in need of refreshing and in need of renewal. And, and the IPOs are supposed to deliver that. Right. Thank you so much for your insights today. Pleasure. For more on this and more REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.